two teams vie for supremacy in Agora. They'll have highlights and lowlights. I'm here to catch the best of both and cast them. This is Casting Call. What's up, everybody? I am Mongoose. You are awesome. And this is episode 24 of Casting Call. Casting Call, the series where I cast replays submitted by viewers like you. To find out how, check out the video description. Now, today's replay comes to us from Yarly BL. I assume the BL stands for Booty Love, because I love that Decker booty. A lot of people say her booty's too small, but take a look at this. Huh? See? <laughs> I swear I didn't Photoshop that in any way. That comes straight from the game. Let's take a look at the teams here. We got German Raccoon on Murdoch, Elf Ninja on Yen, The Dark Selfie on Howitzer, Crunk Juice on Rampage, Yarly Booty Love on Decker, uh, Soviet Butter on Revenant, Alcatraz on, what is that, Chimera, Yura Sissy on Countess, uh, Meerkat1199 on Kwong, and Amen on Narbash. So, let's get into the game. Revenant Narbash in the red team safe lane. Chimera working on the gold, but why is it taking him so fall fucking long? Oh yeah, this is pre-patch. This is pre-patch, people. That's why it's taking Chimera so long. Here comes the purple buffed Howitzer. Yin was very aggressive. Howitzer picks up first blood. Am I going to get second blood here? No. Narbash is going to walk away. Kwong holding it down in the red team's off lane here. It looks like Howitzer's kind of sneaking through. Oh, he's got the purple buff again. Robot in disguise. That's what Howitzer is. The second time he's walked over and ganked with purple buff. And they take him out. No surprise. It was it was a 3v1 there. Deckerdock working on Kwong. The stun lands. He's in trouble as the slow bubble is slowing him down and Murdoch is pecking at him. They take him down. They might be able to push this tier 1 tower now. I don't see why not. I don't think anybody is going to try to stop them. Oh, here comes Countess. She might want to get out of here. That tower is about to fall. She's all by her little lonesome. She's going to continue to harass. She's getting chased down now. The stun lands. She tries to blink away. But she gets taken down. Oh, that death scream. <laughs> that shit was straight up blood curdling. Ew. Howser taking a peek in the jungle here. Chimera's chasing him down. He engages on Rampage. Rampage jumps away with a sliver of health. Here comes Narbash with the ultimate. <laughs> the Chimera's like, oh, you guys are team fighting? Okay, uh, I'll go grab green buff. I'll catch up once I grab green buff. I hope like kills that dude. Decker with a containment fence, allowing them to seal in Narbash. But Narbash gets away. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Howitzer. Howitzer gets the green buff that Chimera was going for. And he picks up the kills. Nice job, Howitzer, on killing that fucker that was trying to get green buff while there were team fights going on. Narbash pushing up in the danger zone. Oh, here comes uh, Chimera, though. That's why he was pushed up so far. But Chimera gets hit in the face with a rock and taken down very easily. Narbash needs to back up here. Oh, excellent judgment lands. Damn near takes out Murdoch. Here comes Narbash. The thunk. The thunk takes out Murdoch. But Narbash gets stunned by Decker. The slow bubble comes down. Now they're caged in. They're bouncing around. Like little trapped rodents. And the Make It Rain comes down to kill uh, kill Narbash. And it gets Countess and Kwong very low. Oh, the sun just missed there. I just get stuck behind the wall. Howitzer wants this kill. And he's going to get that kill. But Countess is engaging on him. The slow grenades land. And Yin is able to save the day. My hero. Norbash is doing God knows what in the uh, river by himself, but oh man, he tried to ult and Decker immediately hit him. Oh my, he is getting manhandled, but he uh, he gets away. I don't know how. 
Holy shit. Oh, but now the howitzer's in trouble. The cage comes out. Make it rain is making it rain. Let's see if anything else happens here. Decker landed a stun on Kwong. Oh, Countess is looking for Murdoch. She looks like she's going to get him. He's trying, but yeah, she goes down. Decker went in to save Murdoch, and now she's in a lot of trouble. Here comes Rampage in control. Narbash is in much danger. Yen takes him down. Chimera is trying his best to take out this de this uh, Decker, but he can't do it. He can't do it. Yen takes him down. Decker has been ulted by Revenant. He is missing some shots. She might get away. No, the Obliterate gets her. But he's in a lot of trouble now. The boulder lands on his head, and Yen cleans up the kill. Blue team trying to take a tier 1 tower in the mid lane. Rampage is going in, but Narbash is ulting. Rampage has used his ult, but they, he is in a clusterfuck of red team right now. Oh my god, is he going to get away? He got away. Chimera's after Decker, but Decker lands a great containment fence. Howitzer makes it rain on top of the containment fence, deals a lot of damage to the red team. But now Howitzer's in a bunch of trouble. Ah, looks like he's going to get out of it. Oh, the thunk threads the needle and hits him right in the back of the head. The judgment lands. Oh, oh the obliterate comes out. It was only like two rounds. It only takes one, though. It only takes one. Looks <laughs> like so Murdoch was able to kill Chimera, but the Narbash takes down Murdoch. Kind of crazy. The Obliterate. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Decker was so low there. Blue team looking to pick up Or Prime, and why wouldn't you? Chimera jumps into five members of the blue team. I know they're fighting. Uh, or Prime, but damn. He just got fucked. Oh, Countess is like, oh. Didn't work for you. Maybe it'll work for me. Oh, look at that containment fence. But then, <laughs> Kwong leaps right into the danger zone. And they are getting fucked up. Man, that was absolutely terrible. And it looks like Blue Team is going to secure this Or Prime and three kills. And they do just fine. Decker looking to poke Chimera with a stick here. He's opening up on her. But here comes Murdoch. He dives in. The stun lands right in his face and does nothing. I hate when that happens. Uh, Epic really needs to fix that shit. Rampage once again and multiple members of the enemy team, but he is very beefy. He's going to survive by leaping away. Now it looks like Revenant is in a bit of a pickle. He gets taken down by Murdoch. Looks like Blue Team's searching for some more kills. Let's see if they find them. Rock misses. Countess trying to come into the back line. Howitzer makes it rain the getaway. Countess gets taken down, but now Howitzer is going to engage. Not Howitzer. Chimera is going to engage on Howitzer. Howitzer goes down, but Chimera loses his life for the effort. Not worth it. Not, not in this scenario where you're trying to defend your freaking core, really. Because they, they can push all the way through right here. Narbash looking for a way in, but there's uh, not much he can do. Yen's over there pushing another lane. Oh, that makes me angry. I don't know why she's not with the rest of her team right now. I mean, they have numbers advantage, so... There's no real use in splitting the team when you can just plow over them. Pong doing his best to defend. I don't think it's going to be enough here. Yen was able to take out Narbash. Now Revenant is going after Yen. Here comes Decker. Gives her a shield. Gives her a heal. And it is enough to keep her alive. 
And she gets the kill on Revenant. Where's the core? Stupid replay system. Oh! I didn't see the core because they surrendered. So why do I think the blue team won? Well, I think it's because they had that beefy front line in Rampage. The red team uh, only had Kwong as a kind of a pseudo frontliner, but Rampage was playing um, a beefy frontline role. He was playing it well. He was getting in their faces. He was soaking up tons of damage and then getting out before that damage could actually kill him. So that's why I think blue team won. It was mainly, um, I mean, they, they all made, they all played really well, but the fact that they had a, a, a front line that knew what he was doing really gave them the edge in this particular game. So, uh, Paragon Trivia. Today's Paragon Trivia is the word chesticles. A lot of people will try and tell you that Richter's ultimate is named Skewer. Nah, hell no. It's called chesticles. Popping his chesticles. Alright, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you didn't enjoy it, I don't know why the fuck you're still watching because it's like almost the end of the video. Like, if you're still watching now, you must, you obviously must like something or else you think it's going to take a crazy U-turn into something else. But anyway, if you did like the video, hit that like button for me and uh, share it with your friends. Click on the mongoose that will be appearing at the bottom of your screen to subscribe. And uh, kind of a new thing I'm going to do is if you want to move your video ahead in line, head over to my Patreon page, toss me a couple bucks, it'll help out the channel, and it'll be a patron perk that you get to choose when your video is cast. Of course, if another patron chooses that day, then we'll have to work something out. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be my patron perk. So um, yeah, I think that's it for today's video. This is Mongoose signing off. You guys have a good one.